Cannon, thank you very much. Here's some other things we want you to be aware of this afternoon. As students prepare to head back to class, school districts and police departments across the state, they're asking drivers to prepare to stop for buses or face some big fines. So now that a new law is in place, our Kid Garner is finding out what those fines might look like. More than 650,000 children attend public schools across Utah. Now, not all of them ride the bus to school, but for those who do, school districts across the state say inpatient drivers are putting their lives at risk. And this school year, police departments across the state are cracking down on those inpatient drivers. A car flies past a stopped bus in Morgan. Luckily, the child and bus driver are paying attention avoiding tragedy. It's scary. <laughs> it get your heart going for sure. <laughs> Nicole Workman is a bus driver in Salt Lake City, a career spanning 21 years. I've had many close calls. She says incidents like this car cutting in front of a stopped Jordan School District bus are all too common. Please watch for the big yellow school buses. We're, we're doing our best to keep the kids safe. Please help us keep the kids safe. She's not alone in her plea to the public. Be aware, number one, that it's a school bus, and number two, that's full of students. Hank Greenwood drives bus for the Davis School District, and he too, over the last 10 years, has had too many close calls. And missed my door. I had the doors open, lights were going. Missed my door that much. I actually had to grab the kid and pull him back to keep him from walking in front of that. Now it's scary. Flashing lights and stop signs on a school bus are not just a suggestion for other drivers. Stop and remain stopped while the lights are on. So if you're on a two or three, four lane highway, roadway, you must stop in both directions. Detective Mike Millett says drivers often fail to do this in West Valley City. Please just stop. We don't want even the first offense to happen. We want everybody just to pay attention to our kids. We all want them to be safe. This year, the police department, like others, will be enforcing a new state law that increases penalties. The first offense for failing to stop at a, the red lights of a school bus is a $1,000 fine and 10 hours of community service. A second offense, a $2,000 fine and 20 hours of community service. A third offense would be a $3,000 fine and 40 hours of community service. And some school districts will help the police in this effort. If you will notice, every bus has cameras inside and out. We will get you. If you run our reds, we will get you, and someone will visit. The Davis School District alone transports roughly 20,000 students to and from school on their school buses every day. They say it's a big responsibility, but it's a responsibility that's shared by everyone on the road. Reporting from Cleo Kate Garner, ABC4 News.